Hi, I'm Al. I'm here to explain a way to get your DAW to send audio to OBS or Discord or any other program. Um, this problem has been infuriating for me and the only options that I've actually found were including virtual ASIO devices and I'm tired of those. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> um, anyways, recently I purchased a new audio interface looking to use loopback as a solution and um, unfortunately when I got the device it didn't really offer the solution that I expected uh, and I was convinced that I was stuck with the unsolved problem. I felt a little stupid for not realizing I could simply just use two interfaces at once in order to get this working. Um, so without more pause, I will describe my current setup and I'll show you a little bit. Oh. All right. <laughs> and I'll do that. Um, so right now, I just have two interfaces. I have my Rubik's, the Roland Rubik's 4, 4. That's my initial interface, and that's where I plug in my microphone and my synthesizer. Um, we get a little preview. I mean, Um, so as you can see, my audio is actually coming in through uh, Focusrite One Two, which is my secondary interface. Um, now I'll switch over here. I'll probably zoom in and just move this over. Um, using VCV Rack, I love this program. But anyways, using this audio aid device or um, module, right? And I have the music or the output. I'll, I'll start with the inputs. The inputs right here, one, two, synthesizer, three is microphone. All right, though this is not as important. I'll show you that in a second. But basically, it's just in the mix. Um, and then the mix goes out, uh, compressor, whatever. But here, here we see the mix goes out to one and three for the left, two and four for the right. Now, <coughs> normally I would just do one and two because that's just how you'll get sound from your um, interface device, right? But I have output through three and four as well. You can just double it. And three and four on my first interface, the, Ro the Rubik's, goes directly into the Focusrite one, two, right? And uh, VCV Rack doesn't actually worry about uh, the Focusrite at all. And none of my DAWs have to worry about that. The Focusrite is only used inside of other programs that I want to send the audio to. So let's say like OBS here, right? And uh, the same goes for Discord. Discord, it works flawlessly. I can, I can stream DAW and also sound through uh, just the default input. So maybe not a great solution for you, but I can tell you that in my cases that it's worked. I've tried this with OBS, Discord, and FL Studio so far. And I haven't run into any problems. I don't expect to because it just, uh, they all work basically the same. And I feel like if I've got it working on one, one way, then it, it'll all just work. But uh, anyways, I'll show you what I've been using it for recently is a vocoder because I have a uh, vocodex in here um, just as the host hosted um, v VST, right? Got the one, two from the synthesizer, and that's the carrier here, or uh, the, yeah, the carrier, and then the modulator, which would be the, I, I might have this backwards, but whatever. Basically, there's the microphone and the, uh, the synthesizer, and it'll sound like. <laughs> 
All right, so, I mean, I, I've just been so excited about this. Um, it works incredibly well. Oh, one more thing to note is that I actually have a plugin on OBS. This is a new OBS, uh, 28.01.0.1, but um, I was previously using OBS Osio as a plugin but that broke with the new update, and I found another one that's called Base Ozio. Um, if you look up OBS Ozio or Base Ozio, uh, you will find the GitHub page for that. Um, hopefully, it doesn't break uh, because it's really useful, and it's basically <laughs> it is the Achilles heel of my entire setup, but it's so strong. Um, so I, I, I love it. Um, anyways, I hope that that might help you. Uh, if that does, that would be cool. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. Um, yeah. Got anything else to say? Let me, uh, let me know.